Hello, this is um, for topic three, culture competence reflection video, and my name is Diana Burgess. Um, so the first question is, what does it mean to be a culturally competent educator? So I believe that's just being aware of different cultures, um, understanding that because of the different culture, um, students are gonna learn different or how they try to absorb information or ask questions is gonna be different. Um, also just understanding um, that they are their own individual and they have different perspective of how it all works. And then I would just say, keep in mind the terminology throughout my career of the different um, justice key terms, social justice key terms. So understanding bias and all of that and just double checking myself to see if I'm doing that. Um, the next one is, where do you see yourself on the culture competency continuum chart? Um, I think I'm on the culture sensitivity level since um, I accept like how different cultures are and how they're different from mine and just being open to respecting them. Um, I think a problem I would have is just automatically making judgments or assumptions in my head, whether consciously or unconsciously. Um, but I do avoid expressing what I think before I get their point of view. So it'll just be working on it like in my head, making sure the thoughts don't start. The next one is, what will it take for you to get to the next step or to deepen cultural competence? And that would just be doing research, obviously. I can't understand and something if I don't know about it. Um, it'll just be good to know in the future since I'm probably gonna have more students coming from this specific type of culture. And just making sure everyone feels comfortable, safe with no judgments. And then specific research, slash reading tools, resources, and all that. Just take advantage of any trainings my school that I work for, the district I work for is offering, as well as just reading books about that. And then culturally inclusive classroom would be different types of posters, decorations, and having students being able to really talk about it. And then me ensuring students um, as individuals with differing everything, with just me first sharing personal culture, my skills, my different perspectives, talents, and so on um, at the beginning of the year. So they know they are free to talk about it. And since they know about me, they'll be more comfortable um, talking about it. And just offering equal opportunity to all students, um, which includes accommodations or modifications as needed, depending on anything really, culture, intellectual, and so on. And also just keeping in mind that they're people, they're humans, they're like me, they're like other students. They just think different and have different perspectives. Like, I wouldn't make a judgment on a student who likes the color blue and another one who likes the color red. I would just, you know, that's what they like. It's the same thing with culture. Thank you.